What is up everybody? Welcome back to Tag and Tails Outdoors. I literally just got back from Nebraska about two hours ago. I am not going to tell you how that went. You are going to have to watch the Nebraska video to see whether I got one or not. Sean dropped me off at my house. I went up, took a shower. I grabbed a few things that I need for Wisconsin deer hunting. I am on my way up north to go do some deer hunting. And uh, yeah, it's Friday. We got back from Nebraska today. We just drove about 15, I don't know, 15, 16, 17, 18 hours straight. I'm heading back up north to see if I can get a white-tailed deer. Here we go again, tagging tails outdoors. Stay with me, guys, to see uh, what happens this weekend. Go check out the uh, Nebraska hunt that we just got back from. And uh, if you're just watching my channel, subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit the like button. Um, I don't got much videos up right now at this moment, but I got tons to come. And uh, yeah, a bunch of adventures. So subscribe and come with me on every journey and have some fun, guys. I will see you in a few hours. I'm hitting the freeway. I got about three hours to drive and uh, yeah. Just got off the freeway a little bit ago. Um, I made it to some public land and I'm just kind of driving around, scoping it out. Oh, there's a deer right there. Seeing where I want to hunt. There's some public to my left, but this is private. I saw a deer cross it on my way here. Look at it. Here's a little doe. Oh, there she goes. She's not. I saw a few deer cross in here. I'm gonna go see uh, if anyone's in this parking lot. I know this is a pretty secluded area. I've hunted it before. Not much people know about it, so it's surrounded by all private. Let's see if anyone's in the uh, parking lot here. We're just gonna keep driving tonight, looking at spots for where I wanna be in the morning. There's nobody here. That's good. That's good, it's always good. I think, I think every time I've came to this spot, there's never been a car here. I don't know if they don't know or if I've just never came when there's been another car here. But there's never been a car here when I came here. <clears throat> so far, this is where I'm gonna be in the morning. But I know of a few more spots, so we'll just keep scouting around and see what we see. Well, just made it to that other land I wanted to scope out. I was looking for a buck. I couldn't find a buck, but I know on the other side of that field where I want to hunt, there's a little creek bottom, and there's another, like, small piece of beans on the other side of the woods that you can't see from the road. And I've walked back there before, and I've seen big buck tracks crossing this little pinch point on the creek. So... I don't know if I want to go there in the morning because it's kind of hard to access in the morning with the, like the fields being around the woods as the other spot that I first looked at the fields are I can walk through the woods and get to the bedding while the deer are still in the fields and wait for them to come into the woods. 
and then after that I can go I mean it's it's 6 30 right now so it's like I could be in that spot in the afternoon waiting for them to come out to the field I could set up on the edge of the woods I think that's what I might end up doing tomorrow but I'll figure that out in a little bit here I'll think about it as I'm driving yeah it'll be nice to sleep somewhere comfortable besides on a cot that I've been sleeping on for the past five or six nights I'm almost there I'm gonna grab some food when I get there and be up in the morning and we'll be bow hunting Wisconsin for the first time this year 2019 let's see what happens tomorrow I might schwack a doe just to get some meat my I'm totally bare on meat have a good night morning afternoon whatever it is for you it's night for me it's been a long day I've been driving from Nebraska to here within the last 18 some hours yeah I'm gonna get to where I gotta go I'll see you tomorrow morning all right good morning everybody about six o'clock right now uh, Saturday September 21st got up a little bit late this morning that's all right though I'll be at the spot here in a couple of minutes sneak into the woods we'll try to get something down on the ground today guys well just got back to the truck uh, I sat next to a bean field for a little bit in the morning uh, waiting for anything to come from the beans and go maybe lay down didn't see anything so I ended up wanting to go check a cornfield that's potted up uh, next to the private or public I was just hunting and uh, on my way there, I jumped up three toes. Um, all on one ridge on my way to that spot, so couldn't get a shot off. One doe, I came up over a hill and it was sitting like five yards, like right there. Uh, we were both kind of like, oh shit, like what do we do now? Looking at each other. Um, by the time I got an arrow cocked, as I pulled it out my quiver and cocked it onto my bow and went to draw back, it was staring at me do that the whole time. But as soon as I drew back, it, fucked, it was gone. So, um, it's starting to get warm right now, real warm. I'm just going to drive around this land and uh, look at some more public around here and then probably head back to make some food. I'll probably be hunting by that field where all those deer were last night when I came up scouting. Um, I'll probably sit right there and just wait for them to come out. So yeah, um, just keep on trucking.
yards away from me. She caught me coming under the canopy, and she boogied. As I was sitting there, just at that moment, a little four-point buck came walking by me and we just kind of jumped off. He didn't smell me or anything. He just got really close and didn't know what I was. But we have a few hours left. They should be moving, so we'll see what happens this evening. Stay tight. Get the flame, hey, kill, yeah, I'll spin.